లెఫ్ట్ సైడ్ ఉన్నటువంటి సబ్స్క్రైబ్ బటన్ను క్లిక్ చేయడం ద్వారా మరియు పక్కనే వచ్చినటువంటి గంట సింబల్ని ప్రెస్ చేయడం ద్వారా మీరు మన ఛానల్లో పెట్టినటువంటి మంచి సైన్స్ వీడియోస్ని మీ మొబైల్ నోటిఫికేషన్ ద్వారా చూడడానికి అవకాశం ఉంటుంది థ్యాంక్ యూ ప్లీజ్ వెల్కమ్ టు టెక్నో సైన్స్ క్లబ్ టుడేస్ అవర్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ అండ్ ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్ టాపిక్ ఇన్ టెన్త్ క్లాస్ ద లాస్ లెసన్ దట్ ఈస్ కార్బన్ and its compounds in this lesson we learn about the details of uh, carbon about carbon in detail please uh, see this video until the end and if you like the video please like share and subscribe let's go into the topic carbon carbon and its compounds carbon is a special element it has some special characters because of this special characters the carbon is a specially identified and treated as a special metal special material special elements and uh, to know about this carbon we have an a chapter a total chapter of a carbon and its compounds so the carbon carbon is a sixth element in the periodic table in 14th group or 4a group the carbon it's it is denoted by the letter c and it has a six atomic number so the electronic configuration of carbon is 1s2 2s2 2p2 if you draw in box form 1s2 it is a pair of electrons and the carbon has a two orbits that is its valency orbit is second orbit so in this second orbit there is a pair of electron 2s and it has a three orbits that is a uh, 2px 2py and 2pz in this only two unpaired electrons are there by basing of its atom its uh, electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p2 2p2 means 2px1 2py1 it is split as a uh, same number of orbitals this so is the carbon electronic configuration of carbon is 1s2 2s2 2p2 by this electronic configuration we tell that carbon has a only two unpaired electrons it can form two covalent bonds or two ionic bonds something the electronegativity of a carbon is 2.5 if the carbon has to be get stable if carbon wants to be stable the carbon has two ways that are the first one is carbon has to gain some four electrons because the carbon has a four electrons in their outermost valency shell this is the valency shell second shell in this second shell carbon has four electrons if other four electrons are gained from the other elements it gets tabled as a neon so for this it has to be gain four electrons from the other elements and form c4 minus c4 minus if you gain four electrons it will form c4 minus what is the problem in this way the problem is the carbon carbon atomic number is 6 it means electrons are 6 it means protons are also 6 electron number and proton number is equal so the carbon has only 6 electrons in their nucleus so by these 6 electrons are not able to hold 10 electrons in the outermost shell if the carbon gain four electrons from the other element if the carbon has uh, already four electrons if it gains four electrons 
and it has a 1s2 has two electrons total 10 electrons are there these 10 electrons are not holded by these uh, six protons the six protons are not hold not able to hold these are 10 electrons in the outermost shell so because of this problem the carbon cannot gain electrons from the other elements so this is the it is it cannot form c4 minus it cannot form c4 minus how it get a uh, stability the second way if the carbon losses four electrons from their outermost shell it has outermost shell the carbon has four electrons in their outermost shell second orbit it has four electrons if carbon losses these four electrons it get the stable electronic configuration of helium like 1s2 and get stable uh, in this way there is also a problem is there it cannot uh, loss electrons because for losing of electrons there is a high amount of huge amount of energy is required to loss electrons for the carbon the carbon has not able to loss four electrons because of uh, and there is no sufficient energy to loss electrons it has huge amount of energy the carbon has not huge amount of energy so the carbon cannot loss four electrons cannot form c4 plus carbon cannot gain electrons carbon cannot loss electrons how it get how it get be stable carbon get stable by not losing by not gaining by sharing listen carefully the carbon gets stability by sharing of four electrons from the other elements or the same type of carbon element and get stable so there is a sharing of electrons are there by this sharing the carbon gets stable by sharing the carbon forms four covalent bonds with the other elements like hydrogen chlorine etc etc it forms four covalent bonds with the other elements are same type of carbon also so it has a tetravalency the carbon has a tetravalency tetravalency by the satisfying tetravalency the carbon has tetravalency why the carbon has tetravalency here uh, a doubt is a uh, rise that is carbon has tetravalency how the carbon has tetravalency by the carbon has only two electrons in their outermost shell two unpaired electrons in their outermost shell how the carbon is able to get a tetravalency this is why this because the carbon is undergoes a hybridization that means it undergoes excited state by undergoing by going to excited state this pair of electrons in their outermost shell or a valency shell one uh, pair of electron is there in 2s by going to excited state or hybridization these these processes are uh, total processes called hybridization by going to excited state one electron is uh, transferred from a uh, 2s to 2p z orbital so by this transfer it get the electronic configuration like this 2s1 2p x1 2p y1 and 2p z1 there four unpaired electrons are there by going to the excited state uh, this uh, topic is dealed in detail in the next chapter next class so let's go back the carbon has a tetravalency and it is formed four covalent bonds with the other uh, elements like hydrogen like this it has formed hydrogen CH4 in the CH4 molecule the carbon forms four covalent bonds with the hydrogen atoms and 
if there is no availability of uh, four covalent bonds for uh, other atoms same type of atoms it has in ch4 there is a four uh, other atoms are uh, all hydrogen atoms so the carbon is able to form covalent bonds with the same type of atoms same type of four atoms four elements or different different elements like this the carbon is able to form one covalent bond with hydrogen another covalent bond with hydrogen another covalent bond with chlorine another covalent bond with bromine this type the carbon is able to form covalent bonds with the same elements or the different different elements and the carbon is also able to form if the carbon is not available the other elements is not available sufficiently the carbon is able to form carbon is uh, ready to form bonding with the same type of carbon also so in this example let's see c2h4 is the example in this c2h4 molecule the carbon first carbon has uh, only two hydrogen atoms are there to form covalent bonds and the second uh, hydrogen second carbon atom is also has a uh, only two hydrogen atoms are there so another two covalent bonds are there remaining so these uh, there is a double bond between the carbon and carbon to satisfy the tetravalency of carbon here carbon 1 2 3 4 here this second carbon 1 2 3 4 by this the carbon form double bond in between the same carbon atoms and satisfy the tetravalency and get stability so by to get a stability to satisfy the tetravalency the carbon is ready to form covalent bonds with the different different elements or same elements or uh, form double bonds or triple bonds so there is a triple bonds is also carbon and carbon there is a here in this example c2h2 there is a triple bond between the carbon and carbon here the one carbon has only one hydrogen uh, element is there available and another carbon has also one uh, one hydrogen there is a triple bond between the carbon and carbon to satisfy the tetravalency to satisfy the tetravalency carbon is ready to form uh, double bonds and triple bonds and single bonds with the same type of carbon and also ready to form covalent bonds with the different different types of uh, elements or the same types of elements by doing everything by doing everything carbon is uh, satisfied his uh, tetravalency and get stable by this character the carbon forms many types of compounds are there so the carbon forms many many types of compounds that are called carbon compounds so in addition to carbon it has to be tetravalency and it forms many types of uh, it forms to be tetra it has to be tetravalency and it forms many compounds and by these the carbon has also some special characters like a catenation it forms a many long chains it it has a catenation property and it has a many types of allotropes are there it forms a, the carbon is available in the nature in the many types of forms like diamond like coal petroleum etc etc there is a many types of uh, atoms are there many types of uh, products are there in the form of carbon carbon is available in many types in the nature so it has a allotropic nature the carbon has a allotropic nature and the carbon has a tetravalency to satisfy this tetravalency it form many compounds and uh, the carbon forms very long chains that are catenation by these uh, special characters like a catenation and uh, formation of uh, many compounds and the formation of uh, tetravalency and satisfy the tetravalency by these uh, special characters the carbon is treated as a special elements and it is a uh, learn in a separate chapter this is the about carbon
this is about carbon if you like this video please like share to your friends in uh, through the social media and please subscribe thank you for watching please like share and subscribe thank you thank you for watching jai hind నచ్చినట్లయితే లైక్ చేయండి షేర్ చేయండి కామెంట్ చేయండి సబ్స్క్రైబ్ చేయడం మాత్రం మర్చిపోకండి థ్యాంక్ యూ థ్యాంక్ ఫర్ వాచింగ్ జై హింద్